I grew up in the 80s, so I grew up in like the greatest TV time for cars. You had the A Team, you had Magnum PI with that 308 Ferrari, you had Knight Rider with the Firebird, you had DeLoreans and movies. So for me, cars were just always there. They were never not there. But my love with just motorized vehicles comes from my grandpa, man. He put in a lot of time in the yard with me and stuff with motors. So motorcycles have never not looked badass and cool. It's just that I had gotten so far out of the culture, you know, I was just away from it. What's up, man? Love nice it, to man. meet you. How you doing? Good yeah. to meet you. This is like meeting me. Yeah. <laughs> you are my fitness goal. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know what size you're gonna be in real in real in life. Real life. <laughs> I feel comfortable. Yeah, I feel comfortable. Let's hang out and ride, man. Hey, man. I'm into whatever you're into. Let's All do it. It's your let's day. get into this big truck. Let's go talk about bikes. So Keller Mike, where'd that come from? I didn't name myself. I would have named me sexy as fuck. <laughs> Our girls want me, Mike. They used to have these things called green lights where they just get a bunch of young rappers mm -hmm. just have us rap against each other and stuff. I battled at least 14, 15 kids at night and I slaughtered everybody. And this DJ here, his name's Double D, and Double D just got up and stood and said, this kid's a killer. He's killing y'all. And, and that's after that, my name from? never was, yeah, never see, my, was. Uh, mine, Big B, was my my parents. I was just always big and it was yeah. BB. Yeah. And now it just became Big B. I, didn't get, <laughs> I, I would've had a way cooler name too, I think, for a nickname. <laughs> Atlanta, home with big wheels and big motors. I never was a fan of them. So I wasn't a fan of Dunk, right? right. Yeah. You know what's next. Go all the way. <laughs> yeah, time to LS it. You're getting close on this one. I have a friend that has almost the same car, same color and everything. I'm gonna keep the Buttnicks on hers. I'm a fan of Buttnicks. It, Buttnicks is, is like an Atlanta wheel. You got the bug. I like fucking up money. Yeah. <laughs> like how many cars do you really have? That's what I want to know, man. So I got a 68 and 69 Firebird. The 68 is, is my wife's. It's closer to being done than mine. And a 69, both of those are LS. I have the 61 um, Impala, which is here mm -hmm. in Tony's building. I got a 72 Buick, uh, the GS, which is over there. I have a 74 Caprice, which we saw. I have a 96 Impala. You uh, forgetting anything? Oh yeah, I got a Hellcat. Yeah. <laughs> I got a Hellcat. That matters. Do I have anything else? Big trucks. Yeah, I got the truck. My wife got me the, the, the Super Duty. She got me the, uh, the F-250. I, that's it. Oh, I got a Mercedes. Um, the S50. <laughs> Every rapper has to have a Mercedes. It's just yeah. the way it is. Even, Technically, it's even, my wife. Even but, if you don't drive it, yeah, you gotta yeah. have a Mercedes. Right? I got, I got the Mercedes, and um, I got a Buick Grand National. So a total, of, a total yeah, the Buick. Buick's bad, man. Yeah. Like, what style of this bike? What would you mimic it after? Like, what do you want? What do you want out of a bike? We can do anything. That's why I'm saying, what man? What so do you want to do? Basically, what car do I want the bike to match? Not even um, match, just what styling of wood. Yeah. Like, so I think of my collection as Batman. My wife got me into all black cars, right? So. For me, what was Batman's car and motorcycle? So, um, the Firebird, the 69 Firebird or the Buick, to me, I would like it to be the Robin Ford. All right. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Yeah, so this is the base of what we're going to do, man. It's a big boy toy. <laughs> Finally got you on a oh, real bike. bike. I'm excited now. I'm like that fucking kid. It basically, man, you're, you're, you just need my bike. It's my I just big, need your bike. bike. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be honored to have these bikes. We'll get with Carrie and see what we're gonna go, but just expect new bars, a lot of yeah. new lights, paint, wheels. Everything will be custom on it. It'll be a one of a kind. <laughs> they do make a speaker set for the rear if you okay, wanted your speaker. Yeah, I want it. I want all that shit. I want the subs and everything. Yep. I like black too. I'm a fan of black. Like I got shiny black cars. I got matte black cars. I got metallic -y black cars. The details are beautiful on this. So yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it to match up the Hellcat because the Hellcat is my daily driver. When I'm not in that truck, I'm like, the whole town knows that car. I like the idea of doing the mirrors too, maybe in a mm -hmm. popper or something that um, okay. that pops a little like jewelry esque. You know? Okay. Still, I'm still a rapper. I gotta remember. So you gotta be honest with me. Yeah. Why haven't you got a bike up till now? Cause I married a hot redhead and I like having sex. <laughs> and she told me it was none if I bought a bike. <laughs> we have great motorcycles, but we, we don't do too good for the marriages sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, I think I'm going to convince, I'm having it built as a two-seater cause I wanted her to ride with me. I, yeah. At least I feel like I can get on there a couple weekends a month. 
No problem, we'll do that. You'll, you'll be surprised how much you want to ride it. And just to clear your head, man, especially with, with how much you got going on and that phone in your hand and everything, you're just like, yeah, ain't screw it, I'm gone. Go on this and you're going, and you'll write so many songs on yeah, this. Same I saw the truck in the middle of the night just to be away from the family, so I know getting yeah. on the road. Is I, I can never go back to anything but an Indian. Really? Yeah, man, and I, I rode, rode the other bikes all my life. But once I got on this with the performance and the technology, there's no reason to. In a couple barber shops, I've seen Indian motorcycles literally just parked in the middle of the shop. Yes. And they're some of, aesthetically, they're just some of the most beautifully put together bikes I've seen. That logo is just so classic and American. To put it put it in the easiest terms, it'd be like some guy on an inbox trying to record an album or another guy going to a studio and recording an album. Does that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that that's the difference between the Indian and everything else now. Whatever you ride's good, but you want to ride the one that's going to be the best. This is dope. Killer Mike, how are you, bud? Hey, how you doing, guys? We're good. At first, I want to start off and apologize when I couldn't make it out with Big B. But I'm glad you guys got to get some hang time in and talk motorcycles. It worked good for me because it was like a vacation away from him. So it was a good, it was a yeah. good deal. Big boy <laughs> bonding, man. Me and B. So what are you thinking about this bike? Do you like it? I haven't ridden a motorcycle since my teens. When I first got under four wheels under my ass, I just got addicted to kissing girls and going fast at the same time and I lost my bike love. But now that I know bikes actually fit my fat ass and um, I under know the history of Indians and just how dope they are, it means a lot to me, especially being built by people who really give a shit. So I'm excited, man, just for saying a word. I'm very excited. When you kind of build a bike, priority number one is comfort. Yeah. Priority number two is performance and look. So yeah. we want to make the bike super comfortable for you, super reliable, which it will be. And then, you know, then we just kind of put your spin on it and your details to where you know that it's yours and it has uh, your input in it. And we'll do all the all the hard work. I love the copper on the wheels. I think that's absolutely dope as shit. I think a little less copper on the siding because that's a little too daddy for me. I'd rather keep it a version of evil or matte black. Think more Batmobile. So the car that it's matched up with is my Hellcat and it's only copper on the rims on the Hellcat. So I could deal with only copper on the rims here and maybe a faint bit of copper where the front headlight is. That's pretty cool. But all the other copper I could lose and just go for a stronger black or darker, meaner black. Uh, there's two different colors. So there'll be a gloss black and a flat black. Look at the rendering where it looks almost like that. Yeah, I got color. that part. Yeah, yeah. There'll be two different colors going down. It'll be a gloss and a black. Kind of like when we talk that you like the you know, contrast of the two colors. Yeah. But everything else you're kind of filling on the bike? No, no. Everything else I'm kind of loving. It's, it's great. I see the logo down on there. That's dope as shit. I love the copper rimming. I can't overstate that enough. Of course, that brake caliber just looks badass. Yeah. Yeah, it's just evil. That's I just wanted to look more evil. Otherwise, I'm great. I just I, I love the way the bike looks. I don't have any real criticism. You already got me straightened out on the handlebars parts, which yes, here we already got your bars. We got a got a tall set of bars built already. This um, rendering has a stock seat. Uh, we're we're gonna do a really bitchin' step up saddleman seat on it. So we'll scrap all the copper that's all wrapped around the bike on the actual pins, like everything that you see. And then you know this in the rendering also. You have uh, we already ordered them, and they're here is the back speaker leg. So you'll have a stereo system in the rear also yeah. on in the back. So you'll have speakers all the way around, just so you know. Okay. Not a anything that makes <laughs> anything faster, I am with, including no seat okay. belts. <laughs> All right, so you feel good about the board on this? Carrie, I feel really good. B, you know, again, B, hit me anytime, all the time. Carrie, I feel really good about it, guys. Thank y'all so much. I'm excited as shit. It's going to be a badass combo to haul the Hellcat ride the bike. All right, have a good one. Thanks for your time. Peace, guys.